If you have a continuous dry cough or a fever or if you've lost your sense of smell or your sense of taste, you have a symptom of coronavirus and you need to isolate at home. This is to make sure you don't pass the virus on to other people. But how high is a coronavirus fever? And what exactly is a continuous dry cough? It's when you cough and there's no mucus or phlegm, <coughs> basically no gooey substance in your tissue. And this means coughing a lot for more than an hour or having three or more coughing episodes in a single day. This dry cough can also lead to breathing problems. But how high a fever is a coronavirus fever? Well, if you have one, you'll know about it. So technically, it's a body temperature of more than 37.8 degrees Celsius, or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you've not got a thermometer, basically you will feel hot, and your chest and back would be hot if someone touched you. If you have at least one of these coronavirus symptoms, the advice in the UK is to stay at home for at least seven days. After that, if you still have a temperature, you need to stay inside until it goes back to normal. If you still have a cough or you still can't taste anything or smell anything, you can stop self-isolating. Meanwhile, the people you live with cannot leave the house for two weeks. If your symptoms start to get worse, then in the UK, use the NHS 111 coronavirus service online. If you live abroad, you should follow the advice of your local healthcare provider.